This is BBC One. Now it's 6.30 in time for the very first edition of the brand new BBC Breakfast News with Nicholas Witchell and Jill Dando. Good morning and welcome from Jill and me. The time is 6.30, you're watching the first edition of the BBC Breakfast News. The headlines this morning, Monday the 2nd of October, East Germany has branded the refugees who've left for the West as traitors. 6,000 reached West Germany over the weekend, hundreds more are hoping for permission to do the same today. A bomb has badly damaged an RUC station in County Antrim. A policeman and two civilians were injured. And the brother of South Africa's president is involved in secret talks in London with the African National Congress. Now this morning's business headlines from Paul Burden. Good morning. The Chancellor faces a tough week holding the line on interest rates. He'll be watching the pound anxiously when the London market opens. Overnight it stayed firm in the Far East. The High Court decides whether Hammersmith ratepayers will foot the bill for the Council's dealings on the money markets. And Europe's shoe industry in crisis as imports flood in from the Far East. Breakfast business in a moment, but first this morning a summary of the national and international news. Jill. Good morning. The East German government has visited... More on all of those stories shortly, but now this morning's breakfast business with Paul Burden and Fiona Foster. Good morning. The markets are bracing themselves for a tense week as currency dealers talk of a crisis of confidence in sterling. There are fears that British interest rates could rise to 15% to protect the pound after its fall last week. The Chancellor's battle will be made considerably more difficult if the Bundesbank raises West German rates on Thursday. This morning, the pound is up very slightly on the Tokyo markets, up a fennec and a half at about three marks and three fennecs. When trading starts in London, all eyes will be on sterling. Rory Kathleen Jones reports. ...called the remarkable parrot. And that was the breakfast news today, Monday, October the 2nd. Another security leak has been reported in Northern Ireland. In County Antrim, three people have been slightly injured in an IRA bomb outside a police station in Randallstown. And the East German government has denounced the refugees who left for the West over the weekend as anti-social traitors. More are gathering at the West German embassy in Prague this morning. If you've been with us since uh, 6.30 this morning, I suggest you go back to bed now. Um, we will be here again from 6.30 tomorrow with breakfast business at 6.30, the main news at 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock and of course a lot more besides. But uh, for this morning, from uh, all of us, from those whom you don't see who've worked so hard to get this programme on the air, from those whom you do see, from Jill and from me, a very good morning. <laughs>